Oh yeah, we're out here again testing even more airless, multi-material, 3D printed basketballs. Now, as a quick recap, we were testing this out because Polymax PLA works great as a basketball, but if you throw it as hard as possible, it does eventually break. But TPU, on the other hand, doesn't bounce that great as a basketball, but it's indestructible. So the thought process here is, what if we make a core of Polymax PLA and then enclose it in some TPU 95 high flow? Basically, the initial test didn't work, and the theory is that the stringing of the TPU overlapped on top of the Polymax PLA and then affected the layer adhesion. So we made two example basketballs. This first one that is orange, for the TPU, we kept it in a filament dryer the entire time we print, and we made sure it was dried completely before even starting the print. Other things we tested out were we reduced the flow rate and we reduced the printing temperature while increasing the retraction. The issue is I did notice that it was still stringing a bit. So for this red one, we used the setting. Uh, it's not called avoid printed parts while traveling. I'll have it on the screen now in Bamboo Studio. But the goal is to avoid the already printed inside parts when using the TPU so that it travels around the basketball. Now you'll see on the screen now that still wasn't perfect. As you can see, some of this TPU string did overlap on top of the Polymax PLA. All right, I'm a little nervous, but you know, if it doesn't work, that's all part of the learning process. Multi-material printing and FDM 3D printing is still fairly new. All right, first for just the basic drop test. Ooh, that bounced pretty good too. All right, let's do a little dribble. Holding up. Let's bounce it a little harder. Hey. Oh, there was the crack. I don't feel it. Well, let's throw it a little harder and I'm sure it'll it'll show its crack to us. Huh? Whoa, that part of the ball is nice. Look at that. I'm assuming it's the other side. Oh, that's still bouncing. Oh, there we go. And I forgot to mention, this design is by 3DXAV on Maker World. Oh, no. I still don't see the crack though, but I definitely heard it. Let's, let's try. See, certain parts of the ball still work great. Oh, there it goes. It's cracked right there. And of course, it's, it is along layer lines, just like the other ball. There'll be more tests. Trust me, there will be. Just gotta figure out some methods to prevent this from happening. But we'll show some slow-mo on the screen right now. Okay, I had to stop the slow-mo because it actually wasn't breaking, even when I threw it as hard as I could, and it was bouncing all the way up to the ceiling over here. So 